supposed to talk graphics, uh, RU42 ended up with a blend that uh, goes between two circles. In this case, I've just not coloured them uh, orange and blue, so I can differentiate between them. And he expected to have equal, equi size, equi size circles from the left to the right, but in fact, what he actually ended up with were these decreasing and then increasing circles, and he couldn't work it out. Um, I did post explaining him how to get the circles to how they, w they how he wanted it, and I'll just uh, put them as 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 he wanted them. Bring the blend tool, and you just kind of go from that node to that node. Um, and he was saying afterwards that that was fine. He he was happy with that, but then he wanted he liked that effect, so he wanted to to get it again, and he couldn't. Um, as I say, if you just set the blend tool. Um, you can see that, that this line tells you it's blended from that node to that node. If you want to blend it from another node, you can pick up that other node and then blend, bring it down towards this node. Notice that the not only you get the crosshair, but you also get the little tick. And once you release it, you're back to this situation you had before. Um, and you can carry on blending that between different blends. Um, each time, once the little tick appears, if you just release it, it goes. But you can get quite an interesting blend with that one down there. That's there. Um, so I hope that helps um, just to explain how to use the, the blending line. Fine, thanks a lot.